y'all welcome back to my channel I wanted to do a quick very much giveaway um if you are new to my channel you know you want to go to my videos check it all out I've done a video on basically everything and I post probably four or five times a week um just hit subscribe and then if you like my videos just hit like um don't forget to click the little bell button and hit all so you don't miss anything out so this video is I'm going to talk about my uh June giveaway that's going to be announced the winner on 4th of July. And I'm going to talk about my Reline It video I just am posting right now. Um, that video is on how to do your Reline It kit. It's very simple and easy. Easy peasy. Just a reminder. Never, ever, ever, ever mix soft reliners. Do not in any way put a Reline It kit on top of your dentist reliner or anything like that. You should really just take out the reliner altogether and just um, start over with something different if it's too big, especially if it's coming up. If anything is loose, if you're reline it, reliner, soft reliner, doesn't matter. If it's loose and lifting, you have to take it out. That means it's old. It's no longer working. It wasn't trimmed right and the water got in and caused mold. Take it out and lift it out and start over fresh. The only reason why I did mine on top of an old reline it, one, it's the same entire company, same soft reline, but I only did it to fill it in. Um, certain spots are looser than others, like my back molar parts, they're shrinking a lot. So um, I only did one reline it kit and I only filled in those areas. Um, but again, it was on top of an actual reline it kit and I was seeing if you can actually use it on top of an of a original reline it that you have. Now, again, if it's loose, do not put a reline, a soft reliner on top of your old reline. You have got to take it out. Mine, I do mine very well, and I'm very precise on how much I trim off. Now, you want to trim off the correct amount. It has to be level to your back palate. If you take off too much and it goes forward, your denture soft reline is pretty much ruined. You have to start over or it's going to lift up and um, it won't last long. And if you leave some hanging, that means, you know, it's going to lift easy. And when it hardens, it can actually scratch your top palate and cause mouth sores and stuff. So you really have to be careful in how much you trim and how you trim it. Don't pull up the trim. Make sure you push down and clip it off. I use the tip of like a nail scissor and I just clip it right off. It's easy. It's not a problem. But again, do not mix soft reliner companies or things. Comfalites, you cannot use a reliner kit. For, for anybody who's using Comfalites and they're watching this video or my reliner video, do not in any way use a reliner kit on top of your, soft, of your Comfalite dentures because it even says on the reliner package you cannot do that. I don't even think you can use denture fit on it. Like, I legitimately think you have to go to your dentist for that. Um, that's, like, the only denture that's like that, by the way. And I think that's why they sucker people at affordable dentures to do that. Um, sorry about the lighting. I have no good lighting right now, and I have no idea why. But um, I only wanted to do the Reline It video just to show you guys how to do it because a lot of you have been asking me how to do it and to do a video for it. So I showed you. Um... For my June giveaway, um, I'm going to pick something out. I'll be giving away um, fix -a dent with scope with the precision nozzle. That's going to be my um, June giveaway. I keep thinking May. We just did May. Um, so my June giveaway will be um, the fix -a dent with scope with the precision nozzle, the full normal size length bottle. It ain't no trial size bullshit. Um, I'm not sponsored. It comes out of my own money. So if you guys are interested, all you have to do, and I'm going to do it di differently. Whoever comments on any of my videos in the month of June will be automatically entered. Automatically entered. And it is USA only. I cannot ship out of America because it's massively expensive and I am not even close to being rich. So <laughs> we are going to keep it for the United States only. I'm sorry for the people that do not live in the United States. Um, eventually, I might be able to do something for people that are out of the area, depending on the country. But I don't know. We'll see. But for right now, the June giveaway is United States only. 
and you can comment on any of my videos um, as long as it's respectful and, um, you know, part of support group standards. Um, you'll be automatically entered for my June giveaway. And I will let you guys know on 4th of July because I like to go from date to date for exactly 30 days. Um, 4th of July, I will be celebrating with you guys by giving something away, by picking somebody out. So any of my videos, doesn't matter, YOLO it up. Um, and you can comment as many times, it doesn't matter. Um, but, sorry, total brain fart. But if you comment on any videos, you're automatically answered for my June giveaway. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up with that. If you guys want me to do any certain videos at all, like if you're interested in anything, whether it is with or without dentures, whether you still have your teeth and you're looking into partials, different kinds, and snap-on dentures, and pretty much anything, anything, guys, just comment below. Um, my email will be in the description, um, which is right next to the title of this video. Click on the arrow. It'll bring down my email. Email me anytime. Everyone else does. Have at it, guys. I always answer you guys. Um, and just remember, be kind to everyone. You know, I made this page to, for supporting purposes. Um, you know, I just want to help people. That's it. And, you know, the support group that I'm making through YouTube, I want us to all work together. You know, what works for you? Just comment on the videos, whatever works for you. This isn't just me talking. I mean, you guys can comment what works for you. If you have tips, you have ideas, mixtures. I know some people actually mix adhesives, which I want to try that. I think that's a good idea. Comment below, guys, on what adhesives you think I should mix for the day. Like, say if I take, you know, say Fix-It-End Ultramax and combine it with Fix-It-End Scope, how good would the hold be? Like, I would get a bowl and mix the paste and do it that way. I think that would be a pretty cool idea and a pretty cool video. So, comment below with any mixture you want. It doesn't even have to be Fix-It-End. I can mix Fix-It-End with, like, say, Comfort Polygrip. See how that works. You know, there's so many things you can do. The possibilities are endless. It's endless, guys. The world is our oyster. We can do what we want. <laughs> um, anything. I think that'd be a pretty cool video, and I'm pretty curious to see on how it holds. I really am. I think that'd be a cool idea. I mean, I already mix. I already do my normal adhesive with powder on top, so. I mean, like, two paste. What two pastes do you think I should combine together and see if I can make one badass adhesive? What would you like to see? I wonder if I can mix Secure with Fix It In. I gotta look into that. Like, I want to be able to get my denture out, though, but Secure doesn't work. I don't want to use something that doesn't even work to begin with for me. But I'm pretty curious on how Polygrip and Fix It In work. So I might actually work on that um, this week. I think that'd be a cool idea for like a Wednesday video. Maybe I'll do a pop-up giveaway at that time too. I don't know. We'll see. But you got to watch my videos, guys, fully through. Because when I do my pop-up giveaways, it's normally to the middle of the end of the video. And I have secret words and stuff you have to say in the comments below. And the first person who answers gets it. And no, this is not a pop-up giveaway. I'm just letting you know how it works. But um, see how it goes. Don't forget. Comment on any of my videos, any of them. And guys, I have over like 130 videos now. Um, comment on any of them, as long as you're polite, kind, whatever. Um, and interact with me. And you're automatically answered to my June giveaway. And you get Fix It In Scope Precision, precision Nozzle. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Hmm. Oh, by the way, I have my denture in um, without adhesive right now. Talking to you perfectly fine doing the reline it. See? I mean, it's a little loose because I only used one kit. And I was just showing you guys real quick on what to do. So I'm actually pretty happy how it turned out. I am. Oh, holy shit, that's got a lot of suction to it. I can't even get it out. Hold on, watch. Okay. This is what it looks like with my reliner. See how beautiful I make it? Like the ends, it's like gorgeous. But see how much shrinkage I have, guys? Holy crap. And it's still loose. 
I didn't put any in my trough because I don't want anything in my frenulum because my frenulum, no joke, is really low. See how like close it is to my teeth? Homie ain't going to play like that. So, that would be a bitch to actually take out the stuff. Oh, shoot. It's a pain in the butt, guys. Sorry, I felt something on my arm. It was freaking me out. But, yeah, that's my teeth. Okay. Sorry. I had my finger on the camera. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm going to go to bed. I need sleep. I actually almost passed out on the couch before I did my reline, and I was like, I got to get up. Um, I hope you guys all have a good night. God bless. Stay safe. Be nice. Have a happy denture day. Have a good day, all. Later.